Alright, hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install themes on Windows 7. Um, I'm going to show you a very easy way of, of doing it, um, but unfortunately the way that I do it, you can't change certain aspects of the Windows environment, but I don't think that's such a big deal because how easy it is and you almost have a security that it's not going to break and that it will be very stable. Um, so what you're going to need to do is download this program called the Universal Theme Patcher. What this does is just change a certain fundamental aspects of Windows which enable you to use third-party themes. So what a third-party theme is, it's like anything not made by Windows basically. So we're going to extract it just anywhere really. I'm just extracting it to the same folder with, with just within a sub subdirectory. You see there it extracted it to. And within here we're going to need to choose whether we're going to use 64-bit or 32. Um, now that'll depend on your PC and the way we find this out is we hold on the Windows key, press pause break and it shows system type over there. If you don't have a pause break key, let's say you have a laptop, you can go start, right click on computer and go properties. Then opens the same window. But um, I do know that if you open the incorrect one, it says the version is not compatible. So I have a 32-bit operating system in this virtual environment. Um, I'm running in a virtual machine so that you guys can see what it would be like to run it from a fresh PC so no custom software installed, no custom themes or icons or anything. So I'm going to run it. Grant permissions. Select your language. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to start up. Um, but once it's started you'll see there's this um, window will pop up. It says your version the OS needs to patch three files, so they're the files that it, uh, it's saying it needs to patch, and we can see that it obviously isn't installed because there's no files that have been patched. Press yes. And then we go through patching each of these particular files until we've done all of them, and then it'll ask us to restart the computer. We just press yes. Now, whilst it's restarting, I'll tell you a little bit about what we can do with these themes. Um, we have the ability to change the um, colors of windows, the start bar, the font of, of text. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty nifty trick that you can do to, to um, put a custom theme on. Um, with the way that I'm going to show you, it's very stable and you really don't have many concerns on on the behalf of um, your PC becoming um, unreliable or crashing, it's just going to look cool and it will not crash um, or anything will go wrong. There is another way that you can install these themes where you replace certain files, like you replace explorer.exe, you re replace certain other files, and that enables you to change the core functions of the Windows operating system. But I don't like doing that for the simple reason that it takes a lot of effort and if you do it wrong, you break your PC. So I've it's finished rebooting and now I'm logging in. Um, obviously, as I said, I'm running this in a virtual environment. As you can see, this bar up top here. Um, but that's how I'm able to record the the restart. Obviously, um, and obviously the login screen, which you wouldn't be able to do if you were using a normal PC. So let's just let this finish restarting. Okay, so we've logged in now. Um, just one more thing, there's tons of different themes that you can get, obviously, there's light ones, dark ones, whatever you want. I personally <coughs> like um, light light themes, that's that's what I like. So I'm going to show you guys a theme called Static. Um, in my opinion, it is the best theme. So yeah, let's get going. So you're going to download it and it's going to look like that, that's what the file will look like. And we're going to right click on it and press extract all. This is if, assuming you don't have any other program like 7-zip or um, WinRAR. So I'm going to extract it. Just extracts the file and within it we can see a ton of stuff. We got a preview but we don't really need to worry about that but there's um, okay so here's the preview but we'll see it in first hand once we've installed it. There's Explorer, Bitmaps, this is we're not going to be able to use as I said because of the fact that we're doing it a simpler way so we don't, we're not going to be using that type of stuff. 
but this is what we're going to be using this particular folder here this is this is what it's going to be all about um okay so now what you need to do is you need to browse to where themes get installed on your computer so to do that we're going to go start computer we're then going to double click on local disk c and go to the windows directory we're then going to find the resources folder we can quite simply just type in um, resources there it is we're just going to open that folder and then into themes so again that's computer local disk c windows resources themes um, it really don't it won't really change if you have um, uh, any other variables such as a different version of Windows it's pretty much always going to be the same so now we're going to copy all the files from here into this um, other folder so we're going to drag and drop them or that'll move them so let's preferably copy and paste and it's going to ask for permissions we'll just press continue and it'll copy the files across and then it's done so now to apply this the easiest way to do it is just to minimize everything go to your desktop or we can press this button to go to the desktop okay don't know if you guys knew about that but show desktop button we then right click on the desktop and press personal personal blah, personalization <laughs> um, installed themes here it is static glass light metro let's go look at the light one so we click on it and it will apply and there it is. I don't know why we don't have any buttons there, but that actually looks kind of cool, I guess. But that's pretty much the extent of what we're going to do. So if you look here, that's got different color. That's different. Um, when we select stuff, it's, it's got a different color. The browser also looks a lot better. It's got um, or it's yellow, or not yellow, it's um, green. I think maybe if we copied from this folder here it may have worked let's give that a go but yeah basically all the themes are going to be pretty much the same in terms of how they are um, how they are structured in terms of the the, the physical files on the in inside the 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 file the 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 um, theme folder there we go now we got buttons okay so yeah uh, that's pretty cool. I'll make some videos later on to show you how to change icons in Windows. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cool addition to to Windows. You can make it look really cool. This is my favorite theme out of all of them. Um, just another thing that makes Windows look a lot better, if we right click on the taskbar and we go properties, and we go to the taskbar section, and we use use small icons, and then taskbar buttons combined when full that this looks the best that in my opinion is the coolest so when something's pinned it has the icon but when it's open it has the the full name out um also notice that this is a different icon um yeah but this is this is a pretty cool theme and this is a pretty cool thing that you can do to your computer and customize it um i will include in the description links to sites where you can get additional themes but yeah um, you can download any theme you want and this method will work with all of them just you have to remember to do that universal theme patch or else it will not work and do restart your computer um, thanks for watching this video please comment and subscribe